Here used to be my lovely fish, Domingo. As usual, he has nothing in his pockets. Not even his lunch money. That lever releases the wolves. Ah, so many lovely memories tied to this thing. Release the wolves! Meow! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! Um, shouldn't there be a bunch of screaming, howling, and general chaos right about now? Wait, probably has something to do with the fact that I forgot to feed the wolves throughout the entirety of winter. Whoopsie! This is the trash of my castle. I realize now that I produce too much waste for a single demon. I don't remember throwing this at the dumpster. An iron rod. And an almost eaten biology book. Mr. Buttons will have to give me a good explanation about this. It's a blind guy outside a bar with a half-made Cuban mojito. Sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. Hi! Who goes there? Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, a fine citizen of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Martin Hawkeye from West Spring. So, you're a local, right? Yes. Well, then let me congratulate you. Darkestville is a lovely place. Really? Yeah. The air's so fresh and the climate is perfect. I guess you're right. That reminds me, I have to keep working on that weather machine. What is your business in Darkestville? I came here to explore the natural wonders of this lovely town. I'm on vacation. A tourist in Darkestville. Well, that's something new. We don't have many attractions, you know. I don't care about that. As long as the people are friendly and the drinks are cheap, I'm good to go. The good thing about being a blind tourist is that you don't even have to worry about the view when choosing a room. I never thought about the benefits of being blind. Hmm. Mental note. Return the sight of little Timothy. What is your business in Darkestville? I came here to explore the... A tour... I don't care. The good thing... I never... Hmm. I notice you haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they used is really old. It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah, I'm gonna drink it, eventually. Besides, even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? No. What are you doing on the street at this time of the night? I went outside the tavern for some fresh air. Why do you ask? Are the streets of Darkestville dangerous? No, not really. Sadly, the giant mutant chickens are gone. But probably next week, the streets will be dangerous again. There's a shipment of winged tigers on the way. Thanks for the advice. Where are you staying? At the tavern guest room. But the tavern doesn't have any guest rooms. In fact, there are no hotels in Darkestville. Maybe it's something new. It was a really small room, but at least it was clean. Were you... Passing by the tavern kitchen? Yes. That is the cleaning cupboard. That would explain the bleachy smell. I can't complain. The price was really low, and it included breakfast. I have other matters to attend to. See you soon! I heard that Bernard and Gerard were enemies since childhood. Kind of like me and Dan Teapot. Of course, I'm much more handsome, and Dan is much more stupid. It's a pretty big guy. He looks kind of intimidating. I lost interest in this game when I learned that it's against the game's rules to make your chess pieces shoot laser beams at your opponent.
It reads, choose from our varied menu, all at the same price. Caramelized duck with bacon, bacon with caramelized duck, duck with caramelized bacon, duck with bacon all caramelized with a pinch of pepper. And if you're against the natural order of the world, don't forget to taste our vegetarian option. Giovanni, the tavern keeper. We don't mess with this guy. Not only because he's the sole owner of the tavern, which makes him an invaluable provider of different substances, but also because if he gets mad at me, he can break all of my bones. Believe me, it already happened. Twice. He will punch me if I do so. And trust me, his punches do hurt. Hello. Hi. So... How's the business going? It certainly is not going good, thanks to Dennis and demons like you. Yeah, I'll pay you, but thanks. I appreciate you mistrusting me. How much do I owe you? It's two silver coins for the pint of beer, 200 gold coins for the six barrels of ethanol. And don't worry about the matches. They were on the house. Do you accept evil card? You know how this works, Sid. Cash only. I don't have the money with me right now. You don't have any more credit here until you pay me. And it would be better for your health if you did it soon. Do you know anything about that stranger over there? You know my policy. I don't like gossip. I don't make questions. As long as you're my customer, I don't care what you do or who you are. I'd better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon! I think the tavern keeper will not mind if I take some of them. Hello? My na- Shut up! We're playing! Hello? So you are one of the Romero brothers. Yes, I'm Walrus, the muscle of the Romero brothers. And your name is... Dan Teapot, right? Oh, it was a pleasure to work for you, sir. You don't find many customers that pay full in advance by mail these days. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. It was easy to figure it out. In your letter, you wrote that you'd be waiting for us outside the castle to help secure the target. Between you and me, I think that putting the demon inside a fish tank was kind of too much. It made everything too easy for us. Where is that demon you recently captured? We put all the demons we catch inside our demon chest. There they are imprisoned forever in some kind of an alternate dimension or something. I don't get much of that technical stuff. But don't worry, he cannot escape. What if he has some kind of super genius and handsome friend outside trying to help him out? Oh, don't worry. Our sister Foxy already thought about that. The chest requires three keys to open, and each of us only has one key. So it's impossible to open the demon chest without our authorization. Unless... Unless... Unless, of course, someone stole each of our keys. But, then again... We are the best demon hunters. No one would ever dare to try that. Except... Except... Except some kind of idiotic moron with absolutely zero conscience about the consequences of his actions. But then again, we shouldn't worry about that. If there is such an idiot, we will crush him. Yeah, we uh, don't have to worry about that. I would love to see that mysterious key you have. Sorry, but I will only take it out if the rest of the group has to open the chest. So, it must be great to be a demon hunter. Oh yes, you meet a lot of people, do exercise, fight evil, travel the world, and taste new drinks. It's great! Ha <laughs> ha! Where's the rest of the team? I'm not sure. I think Foxy is talking with the mayor. And Mongoose must be training somewhere. That lad never rests. Goodbye. I 
have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. It's the Tavern Dartboard. No one has played with it for years. The darts are heavily attached to the board, and I cannot remove them. That explains why no one has played with this thing for years. It's a can full of trash. I know the expression, one man's trash is another man's treasure, but this time, it is definitely just trash. I used to collect these things, but then I found out I'm allergic to the cheap alloy they're made of. I should try to resurrect this thing one day. Now that I think about it, I wonder what will happen if you make a zombie out of a vegetarian animal. What will he eat instead of brains? Roots? Inside that chest is trapped my lovely fish Domingo. The chest is locked with three locks. I have to find a way to open it. She's Mrs. Johnson, the mayor's secretary. She may look inoffensive, but she swings her umbrella really hard for a woman of her age. Hey, I can hear you. What are you saying about my age? Nothing. I don't think it's a good moment to start a fight. I cast a gypsy curse on it a few nights ago. The next person who lifts it will turn into a hideous pig. I prefer not to touch it. I don't want to have a horrible disfiguring gypsy curse. Once I played a prank on the local kids with something like this. I put a candy container on the street, but instead of normal candies, I left a bunch of salt-coated ones. <laughs> Also, I put an anti-personnel landmine below it. The explosion left little Timothy without eyebrows for a few weeks. Yuck. Those candies are too sticky and dirty to carry around. They will mess up my inventory. It's a pretty inaccurate portrait of the mayor of Darkestville. Another totally biased depiction of our mayor. The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. Oh, wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. What is that big chest doing inside the mayor's house? It's from the three strangers that arrived in town today. They are called the Ramiro brothers. I hear they are demon hunters. If I were you, I would be hiding until they go. What is the mayor doing? He is talking with one of the Ramiro brothers, a woman. I think her name was Foxy. What a name! And why do they call themselves the Ramiro brothers if there is a woman in the group? It should be the Ramiro siblings. I don't know. Maybe it's a marketing thing? I don't know. Maybe. I dare you to lift that big trophy over there. I will not lift that. Why? You cast a gypsy curse on it. What? How do you know? I was here the night you did it. Don't you remember? You even asked me for a black candle and four pistachios. Oh. Yeah, I recall now. By the way, uh, do you have any more useful items to lend me? Like a lockpick, a pair of scissors, or a sniper rifle? No. And go do your stuff somewhere else. Good night, Mrs. Johnson. We'll talk later. Good night, my dear. That would be a waste.
It's the town river, full of calm, warm water and killer piranhas. I will not put my hands in there. I infested that river with killer piranhas. This plant looks like it's made out of rubber. That corner of the woods is full of poisonous insects, rabid rats, weird-looking lizards, lawyers, and all kinds of wild creeps. I realize now that I spend more time than I would like just staring at garbage. Good evening, Mrs. Good evening. May I talk with the mayor? Do you have an appointment? Mmm, yep. Oh, really? Let me check that in the mayor's agenda. No, you haven't. You know, Sid, today was a really long day. Why don't you go play your pranks on someone else? My pranks? My pranks? Please don't insult me, woman. I don't play pranks. I do evil deeds of demonic proportions. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, honey. But could you go to do your things outside? I heard that Mr. Martinez got a brand new doorbell. I hope no one goes to play Ding Dong Ditch at him. Ding Dong Ditch? Are you suggesting that I use my evil genius to play that childish game? Good night, Mrs. John. Good night. It's a statue of the founder of the town. I made an artistic intervention on it. He looks much cooler now. It looks like some kind of insomniac pigeon. It's our local hobo, Jeffrey Badsock. He's pretty useful. I've tried all kinds of potions on him ever since I was a little demon. Hello? I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. Jeffrey Badsock is not drunk enough to know who you are, Sid. I've known you since you were five. Remember that time when you were chasing the town kids with your little flamethrower? And you ended up crying because it ran out of fuel? Yeah! But someone gave me his alcohol so I could have fun with my flamethrower again. Oh, well, that's something any decent person would have done. You were so small and you looked so sad. Hey, you remember that time when you were zapping people with a big blue laser gun? Everyone was running so scared. I remember it as if it were yesterday. In fact, it was yesterday. Really? Some things never change. What are you drinking? Oh, this. It's glue solvent. It may not be as good as an old red wine, but it's not that bad. What does it taste like? Awful, but it's still better than water. Can I have some of your glue solvent? Uh-uh. If I give it to you, then what will I drink? Why do you always want random items from other people? Are you still turning into a giant purple monster every time you sneeze? Nope. Luckily, the side effects of that thing you gave me to drink faded away. But hey, if you have any more of those flasks, just keep sending them over. That thing was delicious. Did you see anything unusual tonight? I don't recall anything unusual. But maybe a drink will refresh my memory. Look, look, look. Nope, it did not. And now I see everything in black and white. Goodbye. Goodbye, champ. Wow, this is one of the finest 25-year-old whiskeys ever made. My glue solvent tasted like poison in comparison to this. Thanks.
Presto! That glue solvent works really quickly. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, that's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. Extra soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. Extra soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. All the anecdotes that contain, and then I went for the sleeping pills, are good ones.